Oi. Very us. Oi, us. Oi. So, uh, in keeping with tonight's theme of spring cleaning, we thought we would share some things that we want to spring clean about ourselves. Um, spiritually, emotionally, garbage in our house um, And so the important thing to remember is that a spring cleaning inventory like this is better than New Year's resolutions because it's less trendy, obviously. But also because uh, you guys, now that we're airing these self-grievances in public, sure. you guys will be able to help hold us accountable to that. Seriously. <clears throat> uh, I need to really save my receipts. I need to save pay stubs. I need to save important financial documents. I need to save books. I need to save photos. I need to save any record that I exist on this earth. But seriously, I need to get rid of these fucking shoes because they're covered in duct tape and I am running out of duct tape. If only I had some Israeli Birkenstocks because these shoes are seriously hurting my knees and I need some new shoes. I need to get rid of them. Spring cleaning. <laughs> I need to stop being a binge purge housekeeper. So I let my apartment get terrifyingly disgustingly dirty and then I scrub it to full pristineness and then let the slow march towards entropy happen again okay. so I need to realize that not everyone else is as into karaoke as I am as a corollary I should stop bringing up karaoke on first dates because almost no one wants to sleep with someone who used to go to karaoke once a week and has done Africa over 50 times Stop starting conversations with, doesn't this remind you of that episode of Gilmore Girls? <laughs> the next time the bodega guy, when I buy a pint of ice cream, says, do you want a spoon? I'm going to say, sir, listen, I am not a slop. I am not going to use your plastic spoon to eat out of the pint of ice cream like I'm some sad, desperate person. Dear God, sir, I am a human. I have my own spoon. <laughs> I'm going to buy a more balanced wardrobe because sometimes on heavy laundry days I do three loads. It's white, it's darks, and it's plaids. <laughs> down to an even ten lip balms. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna get a job that I like that allows me to keep drinking as much as I do. And also, I'm gonna worry about how much I drink. I'm gonna spend less than an entire day getting ready to shower. I am going to blog more or less and then I'm going to stop saying, I have this blog. Because really, it's one or the other, buddy. <laughs> I really want to tweet more. I mean, I, I really should be writing more, but I'm just going to do it on Twitter. I'm going to stop hate reading the tumblers of former friends and acquaintances. <laughs> Basically, if I've ever met you and you have any kind of blogging presence... I still read it. And there's like a really strong chance that I like I read it ironically. And there's an even stronger chance that I will copy and paste the most egregious sentences from these blogs that I hate read. And I am them to my friends. We can laugh at this person we used to know. And um, it's really immature. <laughs> I am going to stop sneering at people when they say things like, Oh, I don't have a favorite band. I like everything but rap and country. Uh, I'm going to understand that that is acceptable for certain types of people, and that I just shouldn't be friends with those types of people. And I am going to hang my shirts within 48 hours of taking them out of the dryer. Guys, I just want to say that when we wrote this out, it said 24 hours. It was 24 hours. hours. <laughs> I it's called that. improvisation. Del <laughs> close. Anyone know? Del close. The truth. The truth hurts. I am going to stop judging people based on their terrible deli orders. So, like, if that guy wants to get a white bread sandwich with provolone and barbecue sauce, that's his problem. That doesn't affect me. I should stop freaking out when someone doesn't get back to me within an hour of when I contacted them. Not everyone is as glued to their phone as I am. But, that being said, you guys should really check your text messages more often. <laughs> 
Oh shit, sorry. Uh, <laughs> check my phone less often. <laughs> <laughs> Del Close. He was a genius and a poet. Maybe instead of stopping caring about other people's deli orders, I'm actually just going to start a blog about those deli orders because that guy ordered a bagel scoop with butter and olives. What? That's not an acceptable deli order. That's disgusting. That's not breakfast, sir. It's not breakfast. <laughs> Above all, though, uh, one of the things that I really want to do is to realize that when people are really angry towards me, it actually says more about them than it does about me, and I should just, like, let it roll off. Except for the fact that Mark Maron seems to really despise me some, for some reason. And I love Mark Maron, and he hates me, and I am going to take that to heart. And potentially to the grave. <laughs> And on that note, thank you. Thank you. Improvise, thanks, guys. <laughs>